I got some interesting comments coming off the American fiction video yesterday talking about Corey Jefferson. I talked about Amanda Stenberg as well. These are all dark skinned actors playing Africans. And I feel it would have just been off to me as a biracial American with a Nigerian accent just pretending that I'm the same color as everyone else in the movie. If you look at the location of Wakanda, there's no reason why someone could be that light living over there. And then I get to this one where I dislike. Denzel is a darker brown than Malcolm X. Denzel played Malcolm X and killed it. I am never speaking to the talents of Denzel Washington when I say he shouldn't be playing Magneto. I'm never speaking about talents of anybody. All I care about is do they look like the part. These are real people. The actor doesn't look like him. That's the flaw. That's the fault. Somebody else who looks like Malcolm X with the same tone can also do a good job of playing Malcolm X. I didn't say that Denzel's casting ruined the movie because he. I just said, I was talking about Wakandans and I was talking about how Amanda Stenberg is too light to play someone from Wakanda. I said, look at where Wakanda is on the map. And if I was smart, I would have already had this ad play. But he says, lighter skin brothers didn't complain. I just seriously don't care about this take. About, you know, well, people didn't complain. Did Malcolm X look away? Yes. Okay, enough. I didn't even bring up Malcolm X in my video. I was talking about Amanda Stenberg. So he laughs at me. Then he says, black folks got to move beyond this colorist nonsense. And that's the take he's taking. That I'm being someone who's forwarding colorism. When in fact, it's quite the opposite, you dumbass. Flow hypnotic. More common, more often than not. A lighter person would get opportunities and advantage in this case. So when I say that Amanda Lissenberg, who's lighter, decided to decline the role of the Black Panther role in Wakanda, then what I'm saying to you guys is the opposite. This colorism, blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm literally fighting it. I'm doing the opposite. In the video, I said, look at where Wakanda is. If you look at the location, that is Uganda right there. If you know on the map where Uganda is, then you have you understand that this is very close to the equator, maybe like four degrees off. Four degrees from the equator, your skin will be dark. And then also Wakanda doesn't have interference. It's not like how pick a European country came over and said, hey, we're going to live here and spawn some children who are going to make children with other people. And then you're going to see, oh, okay, the skin got lighter. That doesn't exist for Wakanda. What I'm telling you uh, is the case is the case. Well, skin vary a little bit here and there. Maybe someone's working in the mine where the, the sun isn't as harsh and their soul was their dad and so was their friend. Yeah, you know, you could get a little bit of oh, someone lives on the shade of a mountain. You know, you could you could get some variation in tone. Someone's a little bit darker because he's farming and that's what he's he's out in the sun for the majority of his day. And the, the, the farm belonged to his family, belonged to his family. You get darker, you get lighter a little bit here and there. But the discrepancy is that of Chadwick Boseman to Daniel Kaluuya. Sub-Saharan Africans are brown skin. I ask you how far away from the equator they are. Sudanese are much darker. I ask you how close they are to the equator. Both are African. I never said African. I said look at where they are on the map. I didn't say that being from that continent has one look. Neither are North or African. Africa is the most biodiverse continent on earth. Do they live on the continent? Yes. Do they live all over the continent? No, they don't live all over the continent of Alkebulan, my friend. Movies about African and African Americans should reflect this fact. Okay, we don't deal with facts when we're talking about a fictional place called Wakanda. We deal with, well, if this place was real, what would it look like? And that's what that actress did. We got to do better. Now, he makes it out to me to be some sort of uh, a race baiter type of guy. And he writes another comment here that Nelson Mandela was South African. How far away from the equator is South Africa? They got to be 30 degrees away and wasn't as dark as Wesley Snipes. Can we stop the cap? I don't know Wesley Snipes' lineage. Can we stop the cap like there's only one acceptable shade of brown if you're African? Did I say African or did I say Wakandan? And did I knock it off? And did I not tell you, uh, did I not use the map? It's annoying to see someone do that to me. Try to, oh, he got no likes here he got no likes here but it's a no because maybe everyone already saw the video right he saw he, he he posted it 10 hours ago and by then most of major, my majority of my views came in it's annoying to me to hear people come at me about race 
as if I'm not anything but like 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 solution oriented when it comes to race. When I'm always like forward when it comes to it, I'm always talking about the good and and and, and challenging systems. And I'm, that's the way I always seem to look at it. Like, and to get that from that guy, so annoying. So I spotlighted his post from ten hours ago. If you agree with me, or if you have more to say. Uh, uh, that, that that you disagree with, you have more to say. The comment section is literally for disagreement. Okay, come come back with your Nelson Mandela's and your Wesley Snipes and everything, and I'll do a video on you. I promise I'll do a video on you. If anyone disagrees with like anything I'm saying, for visual aid, we're gonna go over to the Google Maps because that's important. I I I, I want to actually show where Uganda is. Ladies and germs, this is the continent of El Kebulon. The equator rolls right in the center, and Uganda is there. So when we click on it, you can see that the degrees, are not even one degrees away, is where Wakanda is right in the center, according to that map in the MCU. He said something about South Africa. Well, look at South Africa. If I click on Cape Town, which is like a southern city, oh, minus 33 degrees Celsius. Uh, the, well, Celsius, so degrees away from the equator. I can see how people's skin can vary and get lighter and why Nelson Mandela looks the way that he looks. And because it's a place where people from this continent who are really far from the equator, so if you're somewhere in France, you are 48 degrees away from that place and it's cloudy and rainy and people's got lighter skin. When they start living over here, all of a sudden, Integration happens and we get a lot of variety in skin. That's why Mandela and anyone from here is going to look different ways. Same with places like Nigeria where England also came over to um, do terrible things at and rob them of their language. Because <laughs> they speak English in Nigeria. Crazy. Well, how much degrees away? Only six degrees away? But for some reason, the Nigerian people have a variety of looks in the, in the tone of skin. Where's Wakanda again? Right over here. There are places here in like close to the equator that, you know, people might going to have lighter skin and whatnot. Sudan, Ethiopia. But you got to look at where people from this place here, where they landed and where they set roots and how that changed skin tone in these regions close to the equator. Wakanda was never interfered with from other powers nobody came over with light skin even hunter didn't come over and make kids hunter is the, the brother there is no reason for your comment to exist if i'm gonna throw a bone that comment was made because he wasn't thinking about the uncolonized part nobody conquered wakanda nobody mixed he was just thinking real world right but you can also apologize so Comment section, hit me up, apologize, say, oh yeah, I wasn't thinking about that, you're right. Or, double down with a stupider comment. I can't even fathom what you could say.